Uh, we're starting our new joint manipulation series, and what better way to start out with than finger locks? Oh, oh it's fantastic. So oh. finger locks are some of the most beautiful, like wonderful, awesomely painful, horrifying things that you could ever endure in your life, besides maybe some crazy Z-locks and stuff like that. Or a kick to the crotch. I don't know which we're going to. Master Ken does that stuff. I don't do that. So, um, so what we're going to do today? Let's dive right in here, Gene. Um, what I want to talk about? Can I just borrow your hand? Sure. Okay. So we're going to work our way through all of the joints of the body and talk about all the different joint manipulations. So, fingers. Fingers are very interesting things. They're very small. They're made up of lots of little parts. Um, they only bend so far. Um, they don't bend sideways very well. Um, they do bend inward pretty far as well. I cracked that one. So as a unit, they bend those ways much less, except for inward, they fall all the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work through a couple methodologies of using finger locks. And the first one, Jay, if you would just stand facing the camera, is simply learning to grab at the knuckle line here, and we're gonna turn <laughs> this in, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how we would get to this outside of this static position. But most importantly, I want my knuckle right underneath of the pointer finger to kind of enter right on that knuckle line. The thumb will hook around, the fingers will hook around. Turn it this way for me, okay? And I want you to see how I have my standard half keto grip. Here, my knuckle lands on the knuckle line. I'm gonna grab here. Now, I'm gonna show you three ways. One is I lean into him and press <laughs> and roll, okay? Two is I drive it downward, okay? And three is I pull it in, okay? All of these hurt, actually. All of these hurt really bad as long as you have the alignment correct. I probably could be a little bit off and it would still work. But again, looking at the fingers here, I want that knuckle to kind of land about centered on the back of that this this knuckle line here okay so i hope you guys can see that in the camera if you can would you guys give me a bunch of thumbs up when you guys are watching this later or you might not be able to do that because it's not live so why don't we just give me some thumbs up in the comments okay so we're going to grab here one is pressing in against the body two is rolling downward and getting it under my shoulder and then three is more of a directional type movement to get that hand to flex. Now these are just very, very painful skills. Now I'm gonna show you a couple little quick methods. G um, has his hands up, okay? This could be where I come in here and, and strike, loosen him up, and then I get his hand, okay? Two, he could have his hands up and he's like, he's going to come at me or grab me, I shift the hands away, I strike, and then I end up with this grab. There's, there's a thousand scenarios, he goes to push me. I block off, I strike. I have it here, G tolerates a lot of stuff for me, thank you. Okay, I'm back in my grip again. All right, so there's a lot, he goes to get me in a clinch, I open up, right? I move him down, and I work my way to find that spot. From there, ow, I place the finger lock on him. So what I'd like you to do is first and foremost, which would we do? First and foremost, I want you to try this just statically, just getting the fingers and working that press, working that knuckle line, working on the three directions. Then you guys, whatever art you practice, fit it in. Find out where that would show up for you. If you guys are doing grabs or pushes or clinches or breakaways and find out when you slide down to that hand, I don't always have to grab the wrist. I don't always have to grab the hand. I do have a last resort at the fingers. So I hope you guys enjoyed our video tonight. Uh, this is our first joint manipulation video. I wanted to keep this one short. We're gonna work through all, so many more of these.